Hello everybody, welcome to my class. This is GGS Nageshwara Lecturer Diet Bhavan Patnam. In today's class, I am going to give you some tips for your portfolio 9 of NISTA training program regarding pedagogy of mathematics. So, the portfolio activity is uh, finding the area of a rectangle and developing rubrics for that. So, this is the context. Ravi and Ramya went to the school after a long time. School renovation works are going on. Tiles work is in progress. They saw square type tiles are being attached to one another. Their classroom veranda is a rectangular plane. There also square type tiles are fixed. They approached their teacher to know how square type tiles are attached though the veranda is in a rectangular shape. The teacher then explained the concept of area of a rectangle and how it is calculated. So area of a 2D figure. Area is the amount of space inside a flat shape. The area of a figure is the number of unit squares that cover the surface of a closed figure. Area is measured in square units such as square centimeters, square feet, square inches, etc. Through a sequence of activities, students will experimentally discover the area as the square units on inside a rectangular figure. Students will also be familiarized with the words related to the concept of area like row, column, length, width, grid paper, graph paper, etc. For example, if we want to cover the floor with a carpet, we need to calculate the area of the floor. Similarly, if we want to stitch a curtain to our window or the door, then we need to calculate the area of the window or the door. So this is the concept. See here is a rectangular figure. So this rectangular figure is divided into unit squares. So here if you count the unit squares, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 square units in the first picture. In the next diagram, it is clearly visible that there are 15 square units. These 15 square units are arranged as 5 rows and 5 rows, 3 rows and 5 columns. Right? So, if we want to introduce this concept in the classroom, we need to start with different uh, 2D shapes. So, we need to bring some 2D shapes and we uh, need to ask them to identify the rectangle in the given 2D shapes. So, this is a uh, diagram and we can ask the children to identify the rectangles from the given figure. And then we can also ask the children to give some more uh, rectangles and we can make them observe. So if you clearly observe this, with the knowledge of a rectangle, children will come out with unit squares in the given rectangles. And they will assume, of course they cannot correctly say, but they will assume the area of this rectangles given. And if you give another paper like this, it will be easy for them to calculate how many squares are there so they can count the boxes and they can say the area of the rectangle similarly we can give different shapes also different shapes for example if it it is though here these are rectangles and the left side figures are not uh, rectangles then we need to add them here this figure consists of two rectangles Similarly, this figure also consists of two rectangles. But if we want to get the area, it, it is enough to just count the boxes. By counting the square boxes, you can see the area of the rectangle. Right? Then, this is the far, what you call, how we calculate. And after this, we will come to the uh, words, terminology like uh, length and width. Of course, these are the two dimensions of a rectangle, out of which one is uh, the longer dimension measurement will be called as length and the shorter 
measurement is called as breadth and if you just observe the earlier figures we can count by the number of boxes so with this we can deduce that the area of a rectangle can be calculated by multiplying the length into the width or the breadth so this is the formula area a is equal to length into breadth now we can give some examples for the children so here we can ask the children to fill the blanks so here they can count the boxes like 1 2 3 4 5 and here there are 20 square boxes so they can count the boxes and here they can fill 20 centimeter square and they can also write the question mark here here is a question mark so how did they arrive at 20 so here there are five that means they will arrive at the question mark as four because they can count here one two three four like this they can also fill the other blanks and we can also give them a matching task here is a matching task so they can count the squares and they can match here are some rectangles one two three four five rectangles are given and uh, their areas are given so they can match by counting the rectangles uh, uh, to match the areas of the given rectangles and here is another uh, task so here the rectangle area of rectangle is given as 24 square centimeters so the children need to tick the right rectangle for this they count the squares and they can say and they can tick the right one now if we want to make uh, the uh, teachers to uh, frame the rubrics for calculating the area of a given rectangle and here there is a rubric see we need to uh, make the rubric on a point wise scale here it is a five point scale see if you see the uh, rubric these uh, uh, five points are for the first one is thoroughly meets the standard that is level one or five you can uh, give number also or level second level is meets the standards and third one is approaching the standards fourth one is not yet approaching the standard and fifth one is no it so we will have this type of children in our class so the first type of children the children correctly find out the area of the kabaddi court which is a rectangular in shape with organized work that clearly shows their thinking including a correct and labeled equation with no calculation errors and using right units so they don't get any errors in calculation and also they use the right measurement right units so this is level one and next one is children use the correct strategy they know how to calculate it and they will also arrive at the answer but they may uh, commit minor errors in calculation part or in writing units and third one and they also know the strategy and they start how to calculate it but uh, uh, they may give they may commit errors even in uh, calculating part or in writing the units and uh, the fourth uh, category of children uh, they attempt the, they try to attempt uh, the to find out the area of the given kabaddi code which is in rectangular shape but they couldn't arrive at the answer and they don't know how to write the uh, units also and the fifth category of students and they even they don't attempt the problem they couldn't understand the problem and they couldn't uh, know the concept of uh, the area of a rectangle so this is the way how we develop the rubric for each and every concept uh, we can prepare rubrics like this so this video will help you to develop your portfolio in mathematics thank you thank you one and all